Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. After three consecutive weeks of increases, gas prices will marginally decline tomorrow. A liter of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents less. Diesel will decline by $3, while ultra-low sulfur diesel and kerosene will go down by 25 cents. The price of propane will rise, selling for $3.91 more, while butane will go down by 25 cents. The International Monetary Fund says Latin America and the Caribbean is projected to grow by 1.8% for 2023. The updated estimate is 0.1% higher than what was forecast in October. The multilateral financing agency says the revision was driven by a 0.2% uptick in Brazil's growth as well as a 0.5% upgrade for Mexico. It was due to a number of factors, including higher-than-expected growth in major trading partner economies and, in Brazil, greater-than-expected fiscal support. The IMF says tighter financial conditions, lower export prices and downward revisions to trading partner growth will impact the region's output. Meanwhile, the IMF is projecting that global inflation will be restrained over the next few months. However, the IMF's chief economist says global inflation will still be above pre-pandemic levels for most countries. Global inflation is expected to decline this year, but even by 2024, headline and core inflation will still be above pre-pandemic levels in more than 80% of countries. Core inflation has been revised upwards again to 6.9% in the fourth quarter of 2022 and is expected to decline to 4.4% by the end of this year. He says while global economies are still expected to see growth, there are a number of risks. This recovery could stall, caused by greater than expected economic disruptions from waves of COVID infections, or by a sharper than expected slowdown in the property sector. Inflation could remain stubbornly high with continued labor market tightness and growing wage pressures requiring tighter monetary policies. An escalation of the war in Ukraine remains a major threat and could destabilize energy and food markets and further fragment the global economy. A sudden repricing in financial markets could tighten financial conditions, especially in emerging market and developing economies. On the upside, strong household balance sheets and solid wage growth could help sustain private demand although these may potentially complicate the fight against inflation. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.64. $116.29 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $191.14 for the pound, while it's costing an average $169.76 for the euro. And to the stock market now, at the start of trading for the month of February, the JSE index lost 2,544 points today, while the junior market index fell by 62 points. Winners include Jamaica Public Service 7%, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, JMMB Group 7.15% Preference CR Shares, Epley Carbon Property Fund SCC, and MPC Carbon Clean Energy. Decliners were led by CAC 2000. Palace Amusement, Standy Motor, Blue Power Group, and G West Corporation. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.